What's up guys, Takedown here with another story time video for you. This is episode number 12. Um, the last one was really funny. This one's going to be more serious and I know I'm going to get really criticized for this. But no, I know now it was wrong what we did. But at the time, we really had to stop this bully because he was psycho in a way. And so me and my friends came up with this plan on the fly one day, really quick thought out. And well, I'll, I'll basically just explain what happened. So just bear with me. I do apologize if this offends you, but we didn't know what else to do. Teachers weren't too much helpful in my school. They thought bullying was just playing. So anyways, let's just get into this video. So it's how to stop a bully. So let me give you a little backstory of this bully. Um, he would be in our friend group off and on from the fourth grade to the seventh grade. Uh, that's whenever the incident happened was the seventh grade. But in the fourth grade, at times he would be like our closest friend. And at times he would try to literally beat the crap out of you for no reason. And there's nothing. We never tried to get him mad at us. It was just how his mind was. He was a little bit on the psycho side, I would say. Uh, maybe that's the wrong choice of words, but it is what it is. And I remember at times he'd be your nicest friends, but then all of a sudden it's like something clicked in his head. He would try to jump on your back and strangle you. Or he would try to fight you, but he would jump on your back so you, you can't defend yourself because he's just on your back trying to like attacking you. And then he would also go and he would kick you in the nuts. Literally, he'd just run up kicking you in the nuts and think that's him winning. So in the fourth grade, we actually ganged up on once. Everybody was tired of him. Bigger group than what happened with the huge incidents. But basically, we just chased him around. And then whenever he ran up to me, I launched. Like, he came up, pushed me, and I just freaking launched him. He flew back five feet, landed on his ass. We never got in trouble for that. As I've mentioned before, I've never been suspended. Some of these stuff I might have, like, in my head now, I know I probably should have been suspended for it. But, um, so that happened. So that continued for up until the seventh grade. Off and on friendship, he'd be in our group, then we'd hate him, then we'd, okay, you can come back in. We don't know why, we just kept letting him back in, but he would just, all of a sudden, he'd be back in our group. Nobody really decided, hey, yeah, come back in our group. He never really asked. It was just all of a sudden, he's back in our group. Um, went on for years. And then in the seventh grade, we basically had enough of it and it was bullying. It was kind of life threatening at that point. He would be psychotic. He would try to get us in trouble. He would try to do whatever he can to make our lives living hell. He would try to fight people. He would try to get people suspended, people kicked out of school, people get detentions for no reason. And the school would never catch on. That's the part that pissed us off. So we knew we couldn't, we can't go to the school about anything like this. And we knew if we let him keep going like this, somebody will get hurt because he would throw fights randomly. And he's a, he's, he's a smaller kid than us. He's probably at the time he was half my size, but he was just really, really violent because there was something not a hundred percent right with him. And the school never really caught on to that. So in the seventh grade, um, for some reason, we were let out of class early for recess. Yes, in the seventh grade, we had recess. In the eighth grade, it was whenever recess got taken away, really. But we had recess, so our class got to go out early, and we were unsupervised. That's the reason this story takes place, is because we were unsupervised. And me, two, three others of a group of friends decided to do it to do this, I stuttered there. And basically he was there and we basically had jump ropes and that and we tied him to a tree. No joke, this wasn't in, in, what happened next isn't what we planned on happening, it's just something that happened. We never got in trouble for it because it wasn't mainly us. We tied him to the tree, we had enough of his crap. So he was tied, it was a small tree, he was tied facing the tree, so let's say the, the tree is right here. He was tied to the tree like that. Um, and then 
two or three bigger kids that were in the eighth grade at the time. He, they were in our class because it was a split class and they made him screw the tree. Literally, he was tied tight to the tree, can't do anything, and they would grab the other end of the rope and they would pull him, literally banging the tree. And we didn't intend for this to happen. This wasn't like we intended to embarrass him and humiliate him in front of the rest of the class, the rest of the school, or anything like that. Because shortly after we tied him up, bell rang, the rest of the class were coming out. No teacher yet. We don't know why, but no teacher came out yet. And then all of a sudden, that happened where they're literally making him bang the tree. People had soccer balls, dodgeballs, footballs, basketballs. They were throwing it at him hard hitting him in the back of the head, in the back, hurting him. I remember he was crying his eyes out. We didn't intend for this to happen. We just wanted the bullying to stop. So we did kind of what we thought was our part. And then the other kids, which are bigger bullies, but they never really bullied us, took it to a whole new extreme without us knowing it. And we couldn't stop it at the time because, I mean, these kids were bigger than us. They would actually hurt us if we did. I remember he got untied somehow. I can't remember if a teacher came over and told them to untie him or he just got loose and he left. But that was the last time we ever seen the kid. Literally. We haven't, we never seen him again. We never talked to him again. He messaged people on Facebook like five years after that incident happened. Nobody responded with him because nobody really cared about him or wanted to talk to him. We knew, we know now what we did was wrong. Back then, we had nothing else to do. We had no choice. We had to stop this bully before he actually hurt somebody. And we actually thought back then he could kill somebody because he's psychotic. We didn't know what it was. Um, school never helped. So that's why we did this. And the rumor had it at the time is after this incident happened, he was able to go and move in with his parents. We don't know if they pulled him out of the school, if he told them what happened or whatnot, or maybe he just said to them, you know what, I, I, I want to move. So he moved in with his dad who lived farther away, I believe. Um, and we never seen him again. So it is kind of a sad ending, but we were never bullied again. And to me, that was the day we could actually all really started to relax. Um, we didn't know he moved away until a couple weeks later a couple weeks went on um and i think it was two weeks and we we're like where did he go he hasn't been back since did we traumatize him to that extreme did we hurt him to that extreme is he just too scared to come back and then we found out he moved away which in our opinion he moved away because it was really humiliating he didn't know how to face the school again but I know I'm going to get criticized for this story time. I'm aware of it. I'm going to acknowledge it. But we really didn't know what to do. I hope I can't emphasize that enough. It's one of those things that if the school were to step in. Now at school, you, you say the wrong thing. They say it's bullying. Like now every any little thing in schools now is considered bullying. And is considered offensive. And you can't say. You can't do. When back then in the day... It, we were joking with stuff, but now it's like they've taken bullying to a whole new extreme where a lot of it is bullying, but some of it's like, you're classifying that as bullying? Like, I don't believe that's bullying. Now, I'm not saying this because I don't believe in bullying. I do. I think bullying should stop some of the stuff they do nowadays. Because back then when I was a kid, they wouldn't stop bullying. Now they stop stuff that I consider aren't bullying. So I know I'm getting criticized for this video. I will acknowledge it. I will comment on anything you guys say. Just hear me out. We didn't know what to do because this school was no help. And we didn't intend for this big thing to happen. But as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Comment on this video. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you liked it. I'm assuming we get more dislikes than I ever have on the video. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.